Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and guess what? I've got power. Thanks for sticking with us. That's right. I have power. The long night is over. And now I have to throw away enormous amounts of food that is not uh, so pleasant. I've already been bagging it up. Full things of juice and milk and all that stuff. It just uh, couldn't last two and a half days or however long it was. So that was a little annoying, you know. <laughs> power goes out. It's not like the power company has to pay you for all the lost food, right? Some of that was good stuff, you know. I thought I, I didn't open the fridge. I mean, I'm not dumb enough to open the fridge. But, uh, yeah, it does. It's kind of eye-opening about all this stuff. We think we all oh, just put it in the freezer, you know. Get a bunch of meat. I'm all prepped out. Got my frozen meat. And then, of course, you know, when there is no power. Now, sure, you think like, well, I got a generator. I got this and that. Uh, how long is the generator? Blah, the generator. How long is that generator going to last if uh, things really go south? You got to have fuel for that thing. I mean, some people might be thinking like, I'm going to have a solar generator. Not reliable. Not reliable enough. Not to keep a bunch of frozen meat anyway. So yeah, that uh, that all spoiled. That was terrible. Makes me think, though, maybe I should get the house wired up for a generator. Something like that. But um, more and more, I think to myself, because just like with the water situation that I mentioned before, when it comes to this uh, prep stuff and, you know, if it really was doomsday and the Armageddon happened and you have to, like, really survive, all the preparation in the world is going to do you no good if you have to go and replenish it at the store every so often. I'm sure you can have food that can last 25 years, but it doesn't mean that that's going to last you 25 years. You're going to have to start figuring out how to take care of yourself, how you can get water on a regular basis, you know, to replenish your water. That's probably the number one thing besides shelter, which hopefully you have shelter taken care of, you know, if you've got a house. Uh, food, though, that's another one. You've got to figure out food, and if you want to have electricity to run your gadgets... Well, that's going to be a tricky one. I know people can get solar power, but I've been thinking, you know, like, there must be ways to generate electricity on your own without having to buy gas and fuel, right? There must be some. I mean, if you had a property that had, like, a creek or something, I guess you could maybe uh, have your own water power, get it to spin a wheel, like on an old, I don't know if that would do enough to actually generate electricity, at least enough to run your house. Maybe it would. But, um, yeah, and the power is back. And it's, it's great to have it back. You know, I've seen a couple of very curious things over the last couple of days. So the first one was the tornado here in West Virginia that was very unexpected. And the second one was yesterday. I was looking up in the sky and I look out and there's two suns. That's right. I know it's not really two suns. It's an optical thing. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but um, something I've never seen before in my life. And there it was. I took a video of it so you guys could see. Got a few pictures, told my wife she wasn't impressed at all. Uh, my son was like, huh, okay. <laughs> Nobody cared. That was the hard part about it. I, I saw this thing. I thought it was so amazing. And then I go to share it with the people closest to me, and they're like, meh. So uh, did you do this thing for the yard or whatever? And I'm like, oh, come on. Or my son like, well, yeah, that's that's interesting. I'm going to play Minecraft now. Yeah, that's uh, That's my life. I see these amazing things and nobody cares. Maybe you guys would appreciate it, though. Have you ever seen that before? The two suns thing in the sky? I've only seen it on internet videos. Hey, this is an internet video. I guess uh, maybe you've seen it before in real life. You'll have to let me know. There's that eclipse coming up soon, too. And did you see the Powerball is up to $1.23 billion? I mean, I can't believe that. I don't know that it's rigged or not, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of people going out and saying, well, you know, for $1.23 billion, I'll spend the three bucks and, you know, take the chance or whatever. Probably a lot of those. I wonder if anybody's going to win. I'm surprised nobody won on the last one, you know. There had to have been so many people trying to win that you would think somebody would have gotten the numbers. I guess they're waiting for the right uh, person to pick. So they can make the numbers met. I don't know. I, I don't know. That, that last time when they had like the glitch or whatever, yeah, that uh, that really called into question for me 
any legitimacy to the lottery thing, the Powerball. But you never know. Maybe the glitch was the part where somebody was trying to cheat, and they stopped the cheaters. I guess we could look at it in a more positive light. It was them trying to stop the cheaters. By the way, uh, speaking of cheaters, I've noticed all these weird advertisements whenever I get on YouTube as of late about mail-in voting. It thinks that I'm in Pennsylvania. Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm in Pittsburgh and other parts uh, round about the area. Anyway, I'm, I'm looking at it and it's like, do the thing that the soldiers trust that they're, you know, they're going to do this mail-in voting thing. That's what the soldiers trust. And you can trust soldiers, so you should trust this. <laughs> like That's literally what it was saying. Like, uh, soldiers trust this, you trust soldiers, so trust mail-in voting. Send in for your mail-in ballot in Pennsylvania. I wonder how they're uh, looking at that, you know, knowing how in uh, Missouri they had the, what, the 20,000 dead people tried to register to vote in one day. Yeah, oh, huh. then maybe they'll be uh, registering for those mail-in ballots. I don't know. If you live in Missouri, you should probably be concerned. I mentioned this in another video. You probably want to talk to your officials about that one and say, hey, uh, something's up with our registry here. We've got 20,000 dead people trying to register to vote. Luckily, it got caught. I mean, those were rejected, but, you know, how many weren't? I don't know. How many of them were? I, I don't know. It's just kind of nerve-wracking to see that taking place. That uh, there are some questions here that makes you worry a little bit. And I hope that somebody's working on those problems to try and fix them, not to, you know, exploit them. For all I know, it was some foreign country trying to get in there and take advantage of, or maybe see, you know, like they're probing to see what things they can take advantage of to shift elections in their favor. You never know. Um, the United States and our foreign policy, it has an impact far beyond our borders. So they definitely have an interest in what happens. Trump, by the way, I heard he's got this uh, fundraising thing. You know, they were all talking about Biden's thing where he had the three presidents come in and they got 25 billion or million, not billion. And then Trump is already set to like double that. And they were all, you know, ragging on him about the truth social stuff. Like, ah, oh, the truth social. Look at that. It dived down. He lost a billion dollars after that. Take that, you MAGA people. And now he's, you know, oh, well. Shrugging off. Who cares? Oh, man, these people on the Internet, they're too funny to troll. I get on there, you know, and I'll see them saying their stuff about Trump. And I'll usually just type it. it the, the way to really bother people is just to send one word to say, nope. And then they're like, send all the memes and all the stuff, you know, and they'll start sending those out. And then uh, you say, why? You know, just think of the, the most annoying one word response to their post that you can think of that doesn't mean anything. And drive them nuts. I guess maybe, maybe don't. Maybe we should be nice to people. There was that guy on the internet that was, you know, losing his mind. I saw that on Tim Pool's show. He's just freaking out because he thinks that Donald Trump is a criminal, you see. And that he should be in jail. And there's all these cops standing behind him. And oh my gosh! You know, uh, th these kind of people need to wake up and look around them, you know. Hey, get your eyes off the internet, off your phone, and look around you at the world that's crumbling to the ground. Because it is. It's crumbling to the ground. I uh, I wish people would recognize that. You try to talk about it, and then what's the government response? What is the response from these people at the top? Well, some lives are just better off not lived at all. So we need to just have abortions because there's too many of these poor people. Or, you know, the other one, like, well, you know what? The meat's getting too expensive, can't afford hot dogs. Uh, you should just don't get used to eating the bugs. They don't taste that bad. That kind of a response. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling now. I'm just glad there's power. I'm going to leave it at that. I, I need to get this video uploaded now that I have internet too. I don't have to rely on the phone's fake 5G signal stuff. Probably gives you, well, I better not say, because then YouTube will. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. ไปพวงหลวงเฝ้าพระเจ้าบางประคงหางไว้งงหลวงเก้อหาโอ้เวนคำจำพระ